So one of the most uh, useful tools when you're doing a uh, renovation on a vintage Airstream is this rivet removal tool. I purchased this from airpartsinc.com uh, out of the US and they were able to ship it up to Canada for me. Um, so this comes with a number of uh, different uh, options uh, all in the same package. So uh, what this tool does is it helps prevent the damage to rivet holes in the metal around it. So the tool will help accurately remove the button heads of the rivets along with uh, blind fasteners as well by drilling out only the head and not the metal. You can attach this tool to a drill and the slide this call it and the drill bit into your tool and then adjust the drill depth. So I'll show you what the drill depth looks like. So this kit is an all-in-one kit. It comes with uh, a number of uh, drill bits. So this comes with a number 10, 21, 30 and a 40 drill bit to go along with the corresponding 3 16 5 30 seconds, 1 8 and 3 30 seconds sized rivets. So to assemble this tool, we'll start with our main mandrel. Uh, on there, we are going to install the appropriate size drill bit that we want. Uh, so if we're working with, say, a, a 1 8 drill bit, we're going to go ahead and grab the number 30 drill bit, which is this second to last, or second to smallest one. This is going to thread in here. So this is a standard quarter by 28 thread that uh, threads into here if you do need to replace these, but Air Parts Inks does sell these bits along with these call it uh, separately. So, Go ahead and put that together. After, we can get our spring, followed by our washer, and then our moving collet. We'll screw that right in until it's tight, so it's not gonna go anywhere. So we can see that this is now a spring-loaded drill bit. And then we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the uh, corresponding collet. So this, in this case here, the uh, this is for a 1 8 drill bit or sorry, 1 8 rivet. We're gonna put our stop collar on here. So screw that in there, just far enough that you can start this threaded into the main collet. And then when you're trying to set the depth here, the goal is to try and set it for the size of rivet that you're gonna be drilling out. So in this case here, this is a 1 8 rivet, and you want to be able to set it so when this rivet sets in the side here, you want it to drill off only ahead. So obviously right now, way too far. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it, undo it, to the point that that drill bit is just barely gonna go through the lip of the rivet and into the main, uh, main tail. So at that point, once this is deep enough in, so you can see it just barely protrudes the end of the, the collet, you can go ahead and use this collar to lock it into position so it won't it won't go any further out. So at this point here now when I push the spring loaded mandrel in, you can see it on this side here, the drill bit just protrudes the end of the collet. So in the next uh, clip here you'll be able to see exactly how we use that on the airstream.